So, here we are in episode 2 and I promised today we'll be starting panel lines. Now, panel lines aren't the easiest things to do. So to do it I'm just going to create a new 1024 by 1024 document. Just to show you the fundamentals which you will be needing to utilise. Now, the first is the pencil tool. Now, this can be used to draw your horizontal and vertical lines. So focus on them first and only focus on half the airframe at a time. Most airframe, the panel lines you'll find are symmetrical, or if they're not, there is very little difference between the two sides. And that can be tweaked afterwards. So, with that in mind, let's just put on some panel lines here. I'll just click down a point, let's put down another. Let's call that panel line A. Okay, so let's put on another. We'll call this one panel line B. And this one here can be panel line C. Right, so you've got your horizontals in. Let's put a vertical in as well. Uh, let's go for here to here. Let's just call that a vertical. Okay, so we've got that. And sometimes you'll find a curved section of panel line. Now, to do this requires the paths tool. Okay, so we want to zoom in here. I'm going to put it to 400% just so I can see where the line ends are. Okay, and we're going to click on the panel there. I'm going to click here. If we want to draw a curved line, we hold the mouse button down and we drag it. This is what's known as a Bezier curve. Okay, so we click again. So we've got that now. That's defined as a curve. We then come up here to our paths dialog. Click that. Right click or we can see it there, keep it there for now we then go to straight path, now you'll need a brush here, what I've done is I've taken this brush here and set its quality to 100 on the smooth stroke ok, now if we go back to our paths tool and we reselect this path if I can get it to reselect ok for damned, doesn't want to. Uh, path, there we go. Right, so we can then say, all right, straight that path, and let's stroke it with the paintbrush we just defined. Now, it come up by default with that, which is, well, it's not too bad. But we go for straight with the paint tool and select our paintbrush, and then we hit stroke. Now, what that's done is, although at this zoom level, excuse the sodding dogs barking. But uh, we delete the path, and you can see here it's curved. Okay, if we zoom out back to 100%, it looks blocky at the moment. But that's because we zoomed in at 400%. If we zoom back out to 100%, there you can see we've got this nice curve. Now another thing you can do with the paths tool is if we just plot in a shape like that. Okay, what we can then do is we can click. Uh, we should be able to click on the line it should create no we can click and drag the line as you'll see okay so if we click and drag that one click and drag that one click and drag this one and we stroke it again okay and then we right click on our layers delete path there you can see we've got this shape okay so that's the principles of the path tool and that's where it all begins so with that in mind Let's open our F16 uh, top view. I should have it on my desktop, which I don't. So let's just drag it in. Uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Close that. Close that saving. Let's just drag it in. Okay. So we can see that. With that in mind, what we've just looked at. We can now zoom in to 400% and we can see these panel lines here. Now, you have to look at three views and things for this. You can see here we've got a lot of panel lines to draw on. So using what you've just learned, okay, with the shift and the uh, mouse clicking. So again, you can see a horizontal line here, click, shift, click. Okay, we're just doing this all over the airframe, okay. Cover your airframe in the panel lines. Take your time. 
There is no rush at this stage. In fact, there's no rush to repainting. It should be laid back. Okay, so with that in mind, just draw your panel lines on, and I'll rejoin you once we have got past or to the final few bits of line. So, see you then. So, we now have our panel lines on as much as we want, okay? Now, I did mention about subtle differences. There are a few things like this access panel here with the venting on, this access panel on this side, and this access panel on this side. Those can be drawn using uh, either your paths tool or I'm sure there's another method I'm forgetting here anyway yeah so with that let's create a new layer here uh, call it colour okay and we'll select our colour let's make it oh I don't know sort of a greyish tone and we'll just flood fill that layer so we can see our lines there now some of you all want things like wear on your airframe so all we do for that is we duplicate our panel lines layer and we go up the top here to filters now we go on to blur gaussian blur okay and what we do is we'll find our lines here and you can see we've got them blurred horizontal and vertical 5 I mean we can just take them on to 0, 0 but we can unlock them and go alright I want a horizontal blur but I don't want to blur them but let's just go up to that as well so yeah like that and then go to OK and we'll get this right so we've got this Panel lines can now be brought down in opacity so they don't show through as much. Sort of. That looks pretty good actually. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And our copy of the panel lines, again, we can just take this down as well. Uh, let's see. Somewhere there looks good. So now that's your panel lines drawn. That's the difficult part. You want to do this for all your airframe parts, so your top side, your underside, and your fin and uh, tail. And in episode 3, if you just keep practicing with your panel lines and things until episode 3, or until you view episode 3 and you're happy with drawing panel lines, then I'll see you in that episode. So for now, have fun, enjoy it. Uh, just take your time. There is no rush. So, if you have been, thank you for watching. Take care.